Yeah. Hey, everybody. This is Kim with Scentsy. I'm here with my friend, Abby. Hi. We have our Scentsy fragrance flowers. Um, so we've both been wondering how it really works when you color a fragrance flower. Is it fast? Um, is it easy? So two newbies. We're going to see how it turns out. So um, we've been talking and probably the hardest thing, Abby, is figuring out what color you're going right. to color the flower. There's so many options. So have you narrowed it down? I think so. I think so, but okay. Uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it works. All right. So when you do your flower, it doesn't have to just be one color, um, which is probably good because either one of us could just pick one color. Uh, so. We're going to sit down. We're going to do this. You guys get to watch and see how it goes. And then um, I will share pictures of how each flower turns out. But we'll talk you through what colors we're doing and how we're figuring it out. We looked, um, our fragrance flowers do not look exactly the same. So yeah. we're, we'll, I'll show you. Mine is very, mine is very full. Um, it has a lot of petals on it. Abby's is not so much. You no, know, it's very open. Um, so I think that. What she gets for colors is going to look significantly different than what mine turns out. So we'll see. It'll We're going to go for it. Um, you guys can decide whether or not you think that we chose good colors. So um, Emma's got Sharpies. I just have art pens. I don't think it matters. So we're going to. We both get yellow. <laughs> I think my flower is going to be yellow in the center. So my instructions were just to put the color on the tip. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit on the edges here. My yeah, yellow looks yeah. significantly orange. Does your look yellow, Abby? It is kind of in this light, maybe. Hmm. Mine a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's good. We'll see how it works. How much yellow we get? Mine is so close together that I don't know. You can't get know. inside there. Huh? I don't know what part's going to turn out. I'll try a little bit on. So, what I'm doing is doing a stripe of on yellow on the other on the underside. You're over so I can see. Ooh! So then. Look, look how orangey mine looks. Yeah. Mine definitely looks more orangey than I do a lot of tie dyeing with Sharpies and it works really good. You put it on, in the, that's what I think this is going to look like. When it, the oil gets up there, it'll spread it like right. It, 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 it should, so, yeah, so I think that's you think the trick might be to do the yeah, the yellow on the edges. So just have, you guys have an idea. I was told this would take about 15 minutes. Oh no, we're not very experienced at it. We're that might be a little bit longer than that. Yeah. And I am super excited to see how it turns out. It's funny that we picked the same colors. The fire flowers are so cool. They are they're very bright and honestly my decor in my house is um, a little bit darker i find that the the more neutral nature type colors are very soothing to me so i have a lot of um browns and grays in my house so um i like to put like a little brighter decor especially for spring just to kind of liven it up a little bit but then when i decide that it's too bright well, i can just put it away and it's okay yeah. <laughs> Or I can do pinks and then reds and then more blues and whatever my mood is. That is usually the way it goes. Colors go with your moods. What scent did you pick for your flower, Abby? The sea salt avocado, I believe. So mine's going to be That's my favorite Colorado. scent. She's a green. <laughs> <laughs> But your oil doesn't have a color, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to get this one. Very good. Very good. But I made it red. Okay. I feel like I'm getting a little carried away with my my yellow here. But um, I did want to put, 
you don't want to do a layer. So I'm doing my center in yellow, and then I want to do a layer that's yellow but with um, red stripes in it, and then do my outside all in red. That's that's my plan. So I'm looking at this, and right now my center is yellow, so I might do just one more layer around with yellow and then stripe that part. Ooh, Even if it doesn't soak up yeah. the oil. Yeah. You get your unique flower. The way these are made are just incredible. So they're all handmade. Mm -hmm. You know, I wonder when you're done with these. So your your fragrance um, with your oil should last you about 60 days. And then after that. Um, I've, I've seen posts where they've used the oil container and um, kind of painted the outside of it and then planted a succulent in it. Oh, so small, right? Wow, that's a good idea. But I wonder if you could um, take these take these flowers and make some sort of a decor um, with all of your different fragrance flowers that oh. would be like a bunch of, like a bouquet that, of that dried flowers. So cool. Or if you can mix it in with something else. So you can only use them once? They only get used once. And I don't know what would happen if you put your flower back in the same scent again. Or if you put in another scent, if it wouldn't mix scents, oh, your oil yeah. runs out. And there's we don't have refills for the oil, at least not yet. I don't know if that'll be coming. I should probably put that mm -hmm. in the um put that in the suggestions. Yeah. Be interesting. I want it to turn out before it's bright, so I want it to have a lot of color on there. That's why I'm doing a lot more on the outside. So, what, have, what things have you tie dyed? Did I see you tie dyed shoes one time? I, I have. I have many shoes. Um, I've done a lampshade. I've done really? a, yeah, oh, yeah. How do you, you tie dye a lampshade? Tire curtains. Rubbing up all. You color it with the sharpie and then you drop rubbing up all on it and it smears and then you hold it and tip it the way you want it to go and the direction oh. you want to go. And then you dry it with a hair dryer. And it's the heat that's again. <laughs> that's fun. It is fun. It's really fun. And that works on pretty much everything. So I've only done it on canvas too, so I'm not sure if we'll do it on leather or whatever. Sharpies are getting to be the in canvas shoes are the duct tape of art of the art oh, world. Oh man, huh? yes, they are. These are really cool. I'm always looking for a good deal on huh, sure. So my coloring skills are not. <laughs> I could go back. I could go back. The school and learn to color a little bit nicer, but I'm so I'm hoping that when this, um, when the oil soaks this up and it kind of blends more, <laughs> it will. Mm -hmm. that it won't look so rough. Oh, it looks like in the floral department. Yeah, yeah, like it is those carnations where they put like the colored water in. And then they turn blues and pieces. I assume that's, that's what weird. it is. I don't really know. It's so weird how it goes up the season. Oh, well, that's what we're hoping this is going to do, right? Well, that is true. There's so many ways you could do it. We could do it like rainbow. I don't know. That lighter orange. How did I do that? I'm gonna put that back on there. Oh, right there. Oh, there's a thing in there. But then I want to put red and black in there. You really like the way that black one turned out. I do. I like the dark blue. This is pretty cool, though. This is looking really good. 
dealing with the not the not most artistic person at the moment. Mm -hmm. So mine is looking like that's great. That's great. You need to do way more detail than mine. That's going to cover up the mess I made when I colored the tips of it. <laughs> That's cool about this step because you can't do it wrong. It, the way it turns out is the way it turns out. It's going to turn out just however it's supposed to turn out, right? Right. right. You really have no control. Oh, no. Wow, it's really, it's going to be its own personality. A little bit of help from you. <laughs> How many layers I have left to do? Two, three ish. I did one, two, three ish, and yellow. I had to put a little more yellow on here. Bye. We're doing this at my office. So. Another cottage is leaving for not Kind of put the sun on the package yet. You can do it every <laughs> Even better, knowing somebody who owns the package that yeah. has when you need to mail something, she knows exactly how to do it. If not, I'll find out. The best. The Wait. fastest way, the cheapest way, how it's supposed to be packed, because in all honesty, that's my always my question for Abby. How do I pack this, Abby? Yeah, <laughs> yeah says, you need to put more packing paper in here. <laughs> you know what? Come in the next time. I have more paper in it. And she still says, you need more paper in here. <laughs> it has to be solid on the dock. That's the way my drivers like. Some people don't pack at all. It's not everybody can do that. And I would be one of those in we cannot, but I just have to know Abby. She will do the package, right? Hello. So Abby's Abby's packing ship is in Ridge Building. If you guys um, ever need to ship something, you can come see her. Ridge Building package. <laughs> okay, so I have to be careful. So some of the, the tips of these flowers are a little bit delicate. So if you're not careful, they a little violet crazy there. I just I think that some of them that I was putting a little bit of uh, extra ink on, I think maybe um, just a bit tip, just in the little center part, it kind of got a little soft. I'm not too worried about it because if you guys can look at my fragrance flower and pick that out, then it's like a work Waldo puzzle. So this is what mine looks like now. Yeah. So far. Isn't that cool? So good. I like it. Mine is, I'm not showing mine yet. I'm not ready. But I'm going to put red right in the middle and then black on the tips. It's the top tips. It should look good. I'm excited to see that. Mm -hmm. So I, I put red lines in a layer of mine um, in the hopes that they will blend in my yellow and you know red and yellow they make orange right so i don't know if it'll turn it all orange-ish or just where my lines will be so this mm -hmm. is abby's going much faster than me so mine is looking like this um you can see that i have a little bit of lines in some of those so we'll see we'll see what it does See all the color on the outside, so yeah, it probably doesn't need that much, but I want mine to be bright. When it, you don't the oil in there, oh. you don't want your colors to fade as much. No, this is kind of cool. I've never done a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, YouTube. No stress here. To do this. this is a good way to start out on a Monday. Yeah. It's a little more interesting. And then you get to watch it all week and go, ooh, yeah. zoom in. 
such a good wow. That would be so cool to see the different stages. You can't turn it off though, right? Can you? I mean, you turn off the, the fragrance bar. Well, if you take the flower off, it's got back on the oh, oil, yeah. then yes. But if you can, you can change the flower coloring. I want it to like laugh. Um, you mean like when you take, when it runs out, or? I guess it's not like a burner. No, it's gonna. Um, so it's gonna. It's gonna wick up the stem mm -hmm. and through the petals and disperse the fragrance that way. Um, so I'm thinking that once the petals absorb that fragrance oil, that your flower will always. I won't say always. I'm thinking that scent will hang in there for quite a while, mm -hmm. even after the sixty days. We're about to find out, aren't we? It's gonna be. An ongoing thing I can just tell right now. I'm gonna want to take on the time. Arts and Crafts Day. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna want that bouquet going. It's really nice. And so when we get a little bit further along here, I'll show you guys. Um, the oil is not super large. Um, I'm getting carried away with my yellow. I'm gonna end up a little more yellow in here than I originally anticipated. I forgot where I was. Uh, so it's it's um, a nice compact container. It doesn't have to be plugged in, so it can sit on your bathroom countertop. Uh, it can sit on a shelf. It can sit in your living room on a mantle. And really, it fits all kinds of places. Of course, just want to keep it up where the kids and the pets aren't going to knock it over because um, it is oil. Yeah, I need to put more red in here. I got a little, I got a little bit crazy with the yellow I was doing here, but I can fix that. This is looking cool. <laughs> you are so good at this, Abby. I'm jealous. This is going to be great. Abby, <laughs> you're not going to want to wait to keep it to see what it does. Where are you going to put your flower, Abby? Right here. So everybody can see it. Everybody can see your artistic abilities. Uh -huh. Now, what I can do, I can make a tie dye type flower. Yeah. I put tie dye to the shoes just the other day. What colors did you pick for them? Oh, nice. less so like a light like purple and a dark purple and light blue and a dark blue. Yeah. So I have a pair of yellow shoes, amber shoes, that I got just two tie dye, but I can't decide exactly what I'm do with them. <laughs> so that's exciting. It feels like it's a life changing choice, which, you know, it's really not. No. No. I mean, these are like neon yellow shoes. Not a yellow shoe. <laughs> Free is good. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sure she can see me. Oh, this is going to be so cool. So, you see how Abby and I are just, we're doing our own thing and we're chit chatting. Yeah. Catching up a little bit. If you guys want to try this, have a fragrance flower party. Everybody can just pre-order their flowers. I'll I'll bring them. We can zoom it, so we can just ship it to our house, and we can all zoom mm. and watch each other color while we chit chat, so we can actually get together again. Um, I did one of those with my family. That's great. You know, I wish a zoom was faster at my house. If I do if I do a zoom party, I actually have to go into town to do it. You come here. You come here. Or we observe our six foot rule. Sure. 
It works as long as there's not a bunch of people in here with Abby. Usually not people. Just because I'm in this business. It's not a lot of work that goes into being a business owner. Oh, man. So when you take the back side of your, show me the back side of the side, you side. Do it all the way, like all the way to the stem, like this one. Some yeah. of them, some of them I didn't do that much, and then some of them I did on the stem. You know, like this. Oh, this is kind of so cool. It was so exciting when they came out with some extra. New scents. Um, I was really excited about the Blue Grotto. I really like that one. I really smell the orange in it, so it's a citrusy kind of smell for me. Um, Luna's really popular. She's all an avocado that Abby has. Ah, that's my favorite. Um, you can get it in aloe water and cucumber. Amazon Rain is also another popular kind of a thing yeah, scent, like but a little bit stronger with thing scent. Go -Go, I believe Go Go Mango is one of the new ones that came out. I want to try that one. Nice and fruity. Yeah. I like doing the back side of these easier, just so you oh, know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because each flower is different. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to judge how I'm doing. See what mine looks like. Based on how far Abby already is. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks cool. Let me see. Ooh, that's gonna be so. Yours is gonna be hot. very vibrant. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is hot. I'm doing this because it's not a lot like I do this either. So, <laughs> so we'll hopefully see if it can fall down. But you can't do it wrong. No. And then, even if you did this, even if you picked it the same colors again, your flower shape's not going to be exactly the same. And it's not going to spread exactly the same. So you can have like a color theme, but the flowers will be a little bit different. These? Um, because they last for two months instead of, you know, two weeks or sometimes two days. <laughs> right. I'm, I have a brown thumb. My flowers are not always, they don't always live long. Um, but so this is a, a fun thing to do um, for a birthday or Mother's Day, on a holiday, Valentine's Day. It's a great one to give your kids and just can let them color however they want to color it. Uh, and then give mom or grandma or aunt or teacher, whoever, it's great new. Yeah, it's good. For everybody. Great new flower. And it will be with your own special touch on it. So I love I love the Scentsy products. I find that they're very unique, especially for gifts. Uh, and I love them for decorating my home and changing it up without having to spend a, a ton of money. But um, this is this is extra special when you can make it just be what you think somebody would like, what you like. And especially right now, since we're we're spending so much time at home, extra extra projects with extra thought, a little extra loving touch. Are, smile. Are really, they're yeah, they're really great about putting a smile on somebody's face. Is it? Is it May first? Is that when you traditionally go and leave the flowers on the door yes. and ring the doorbell yes. and run? Yes. Guys, could you imagine doing this for your neighbors? Just go ahead and color the flowers and drop it off at their door. I know that um, I saw a lot of people for Easter posted um, the You've Been Egged egg oh. hunt where they had 12 eggs hid outside. Oh, wow. um, and they, it was a surprise. It was, it was, funny. It was, it was just a, they, there was just a sign posted with a little note. Um, and how much fun was that if you got eggs, <laughs> which is not like when we were kids and we got eggs, because yeah. that was not, that was not a fun surprise. No. Um, but if you got eggs, how, how happy did that make you that somebody thought that, hey, 
this will put a smile on their face. And they went and, and took the time to drive out and put up a sign and hide Easter eggs in your yard for you to for you to go out and do. Um, I know my sister my sister got egg. I was on the phone with her <laughs> when she discovered that she got egg. Um, and they went out and um, took flashlights and did an Easter egg hunt oh. with flashlights. Oh, how fun. So, wow. this is a, there's just, everybody's getting so creative about gifts they can do. But this, for May Day, would be a fun thing to drop off for a family. Um, just to put a smile on their face, give them something different. You've added your personal touch to it. Boy, if I run out of toilet paper, can they toilet paper my house? <laughs> Um, I won't even tell you how many houses I toilet papered as a Oh, child. boy. <laughs> the good old days. So. All meant in fun. Also, also um, I got toilet paper more times than I care to think about. We had pine trees in our yard and an automatic sprinkler system. So if you got toilet paper and the sprinkler system came on at 6 a.m. Oh, no. And one high school kid is up at 6 a.m. No, nobody. Never. Um, then the toilet paper got wet and it stank on those pine needles. It was a mess. Oh my. It was a mess to clean up. I remember having to climb the pine trees. Toilet paper picked out. Oh, Look at this, it's beautiful. I don't know if I want to put it in oil. <laughs> so I'm not going to compare myself to Abby. Well, no, yours is, everyone is unique. It was uh, a magnificent job. We'll see. I don't know what it'll turn out like. So, like, it has a ton of color to it. I love it. It's going to be bright for sure. I got um a little more yellow into mine, and I think I'm going to end up with some orange in here, which is going to be really exciting because I like orange. Yeah. We'll see. So, mine's layered. How it turns out. So yours is very good. Yours is very good with all the color. The color and everything. Yeah. So mine is a little, it's more yellow in the center. And then I have the red lines in the layers and then the red on the outside. I just want to see if those red lines in there, if they just completely spread out or if they stay a dark in there and it kind of just blends the color with the with the lines in it. So interesting to see. That's it. We've, we've done coloring our flowers. They do not look exactly the same. Oh. Um, they didn't start out looking the same. Our colors are not the same. Uh, and we'll post pictures and show you guys actually how they do from every few days. So you can see, like, you've seen what it starts out as. And then um, as the oil goes through it and goes through it and goes through, goes through it. So I'm going to borrow Abby's oil because she has it out already ready for her flowering. So, yeah, she me how to do it. So, your, your container of oil is this big, like you can see on my hand, like the size of the palm of your hand. Right? It's not going to take up a ton of space anywhere. Did you get a metal ring with it, Abby? Is there a metal ring in there? Oh. Yes, I did. Where is it? This box is very okay, I'm setting this down because that's looking dangerous for me the whole thing. So, I think. I think we just pull this rubber because that doesn't go. I gotta, I gotta pull the rubber part out, but it's not cooperating. Your skirt's gonna splash you. <laughs> I'm not gonna stand like that. Okay, this should not be this much work. To... He's just paranoid. She's gonna go <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's okay. Darn! I got too confident. <laughs> Mm, but I like that scent anyway. Um, I we we're gonna put the metal oh, yeah. on. But also, I gotta clean up my mess, Abby. Oh, okay. It'll make okay. it so good. Your table's gonna be scented. Mm -hmm. so, so it doesn't have that thing. No, that's just to keep it from spilling. <laughs> just drop it in. Just drop it in. Well, now don't don't knock over your oil. No. Let's keep it. So, what's that thing need to be oiled for? There you go. You have extra scent. Yeah. My favorite scent. 
So I just got some salt and avocado going. And this is what it looks like. So we'll see. Yeah, what it looks like when it's in two hours. <laughs> I don't know. I'll take a picture in two hours. Uh, I don't know if it takes days or it takes, I don't know what it takes. It's going to be so pretty. Out, it sure smells good, though. Oh. I love it. There you go, guys. Mm. Let me know if you guys want to do this, too. It was super fun yeah. um, hanging out with Abby and seeing the different ideas that we did. Let's uh, do a Zoom party because if a bunch of us do it and share our ideas, we'll be able to come up with all these creative ways to make beautiful flowers for our house. Thank you. I already want to order another one. <laughs> <laughs> Just so Thank we can do you. more colors. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs>